This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. A unique reading for the Dalai Lama in Memphis this afternoon. Take a look. You say you got a sense of humor? I've always wanted to say, hello, Dalai. <laughs> the Tibetan spiritual leader seemed confused by the fist bump from Memphis Mayor Pro Tem Myron Lowry. He eventually caught on, and you can see he had a good laugh there. Mayor Lowry says he always wanted to say, hello, Dalai. A reference to the musical, of course. A county official summed up the visit this way. This is big stuff for a little guy from Lebanon, Tennessee. The greatest person I ever met was uh, uh, what Minnie Pearl from the Grand Ole Opry. I, I, I feel like big time here. I'm in high cotton. Well, there you go. The Dalai Lama was in Memphis to receive the International Freedom Award from the National Civil Rights Museum. He spoke of his respect for Dr. Martin Luther King. Now, in HD, Action News 5 at 10 starts now. Here we also have a tradition of holding the news. Meanwhile, more national publicity for the fist bump that welcomed the Dalai Lama to Memphis. Mayor Pro Tem Myron Lowry says CNN has asked him to write an editorial about the unusual greeting. The network is one of several that picked up the story today. Lowry says the editorial should appear sometime tomorrow. We're keeping it cool for the first week of fall, and those scattered showers just won't seem to go away. Tonight at 5. The Dalai Lama comes to Memphis, and Myron Lowry greets him with the fist. Now, in HD, Action News 5 at 5. His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, arrived in Memphis today. He will receive the National Civil Rights Museum's International Freedom Award tomorrow. His visit will be remembered for many reasons, including the way he was greeted by the city's interim mayor. Action News 5's Nick Kinney joins us now live with the details. Nick. It's the Dalai Lama's first ever trip to Memphis. His first stop was right here at Tom Lee Park, and it was complete with, yes, fist bumps. It seems like an ordinary walk in the park, but this, this is an extraordinary man requiring extra security by air, water, and ground. Here we also have a tradition. Yes, Mayor Pro Tem Myron Lowry is fist bumping the Dalai Lama. You say you got a sense of humor? I've always wanted to say, hello, Dalai. <laughs> he's got a sense of humor, all right, but he's known worldwide for his serious devotion to peace, equality, and civil rights, and he admits an admiration for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Luther King, although I never met, but I heard, you see, uh, his motivation, his determination, his service for civil rights. He blessed the Mississippi River with a white prayer scarf. Strongly right, saved 32 lives. He stopped by the statue of Tom Lee to pay respects and he left a mark on the two men welcoming him to town. With this proclamation, uh, Warden and Lowry both declared today uh, the Dalai Lama's peace and uh, harmony. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the Dalai Lama's days of peace and harmony. Let me get that right. Now, you can go to our website at WMCTV.com and you'll find. Uh, all the raw video from today's meeting with the Dalai Lama, including those fist bumps. Also, stick with Action News 5. Tomorrow we're going to have complete coverage of the, uh, of the Freedom Awards and all the events leading up to it as well. So stick with Action News 5 for that continuing coverage. For right now, though, reporting live at Tom Lee Park, Nick Kenny, Action News 5. All right, good to see the sunshine out there, Nick. We have seen so much rain here in the Mid-South over the past week. ABC 24 Eyewitness News starts now. People are still talking about the famous fist bump at Tom Lee Park. That's how Mayor Myron Lowry greeted the Dalai Lama on Tuesday. Lowry says he's received lots of positive feedback, and regardless of how you feel about it, it's getting a lot of attention, even from Conan O'Brien. Uh, Dalai Lama's in the news. Yesterday, the Dalai Lama met with the mayor of Memphis, Tennessee, and the mayor greeted him by giving him a fist bump and saying, Hello, Dolly. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, then when it, it, when it came time to say goodbye, the mayor slapped the Dalai Lama on the ass and said, Take it easy, Lama Lama Ding Dong. <laughs> Lama Lama Ding Dong. All right, perhaps just a little exaggeration there, but uh, it's going you know, the Dalai Lama seems to be enjoying his visit. Yeah, absolutely. It's made its way around the world, that I'm video. Telling you, that, that is amazing. Well, you know what would be even more amazing? Mm -hmm. If we would see a little sunshine. 
here we also have a tradition of local liberalism. Also, more national publicity for that fist bump that welcomed the Dalai Lama to Memphis. Mayor Pro Tem Myron Lowry says CNN has asked him to write an editorial about the unusual greeting. The network is one of several that picked up the story. Lowry says the editorial should appear sometime today. Once things settled down from that fist bump fiasco, the Dalai Lama got down to business right here in Memphis. He graciously accepted a 2009 International Freedom Award yesterday. Fox 13's Les Smith was there and has a story. The 2009 International Freedom Award recipient, the, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Despite the many awards and worldwide accolades he has received since his exile to India 50 years ago, the Dalai Lama is not a man given to false humility. Which is why his message of nonviolence, inner peace, and love has resonated far beyond the borders of the homeland he and over a hundred thousand Tibetans fled after Chinese occupation. <laughs> At the jam-packed Wednesday luncheon in his honor held at the Peabody, the spiritual leader humbly expressed his gratitude. This award, I consider some kind of recognition, my small contribution for well-being of humanity. Out of the richness of an ancient culture, it is a voice of timeless wisdom. During the ceremony, a short documentary film narrated by actor Richard Gere traced the incredible life of a man who by the age of four became the spiritual inspiration for millions of Tibetans. But forced into permanent exile in 1959, the Dalai Lama has continued to serve his people by providing food, shelter, and the formation of an in-exile government, one which the United States officially has never embraced. Yet, though being deeply involved in the human rights struggle of his people to reclaim their country, the Dalai Lama has succeeded successfully extended his philosophy of peace worldwide through the 70 books he's authored touting the joys of love and compassion. Well, compassionate mind, open our mind, and with compassionate at, sort of mind, and your whole attitude then becomes something positive. However, in spite of the seriousness associated with the Dalai Lama's story, <laughs> he displayed a wry sense of humor many times on his Memphis visit, including explaining the origin of the numerous scarves he passed out to a few lucky recipients like Memphis civil rights legend Ben Hooks. Wherever you are, Elvis, eat your heart out. This is just scar. Yes. I consider this is a symbol of harmony because it is a scar. Tradition come from India, but the material made in China. <laughs> Les Smith, Fox 13 News. All right, pretty wise. Well, recipients of the Freedom Award also receive a gift of $50,000. The Dalai Lama, though, he donated that money back to the National Civil Rights Museum, as did former President Bill Clinton and former Vice President Al Gore. Before the Dalai Lama graciously accepted the International Freedom Award, he walked in Dr. Martin Luther King's footsteps, visiting the National Civil Rights Museum and standing in the place where Dr. King was assassinated. The Dalai Lama described it as a moving experience. This was a day, history event uh, give us conviction, say, a struggle, for justice. The Dalai Lama wrapped up his Mid-South visit with a public talk at the Cook Convention Center. On to some other news. Well, the Dalai Lama got a very unique greeting recently. Take a look at this. He was in Memphis for the National Civil Rights Museum's Freedom Awards. Memphis Mayor Myron Lowry shook hands with the Dalai Lama. Look at this. And he showed him how to do the... He showed the 74-year-old how to do the fist bump right there, huh? You gotta blow it up a little bit, I think. Look at that. Fantastic. With breaking news and power of five weather, this is the station on your side, News Channel 5. Our Good Morning Cleveland team worked all night to bring you the latest news, weather, and traffic. What do you guys think? You think you gotta, you gotta blow that up, right, when you're doing it with the Dalai Lama? You gotta go full-fledged. All right. We start your Thursday 4 